welcome back to another episode of java basic programming so in this episode we are going to learn how to perform the dynamic initialization of a variable in java so the java allows dynamic initialization of a variable with a valid expression at the time of the variable declaration so here i am going to show you an example that contain the dynamic initialization of a variable with a valid expression so in this example we are going to find out the length of the hypotenuse of a triangle right angle triangle with the given two side so first here i am going to declare two variables double a and initialize this variable with the some value 3.0 now declare another variable double b equal to with some value 4.0 okay now i am going to find out the length of the hypotenuse with a variable so double variable name hypotenuse equal to and now here I am going to perform the dynamic initialization for this variable hypotenuse. So we have to find out the length of the hypotenuse. So first we have to find out the square of a variable a. So a into a plus b into b. This is equal to a square plus b square. Now we have to find out the square root of a square plus b square. So we have to use an expression we have to use a function from math class so math dot sqrt of a square plus b square this will return the square root of a square plus b square to variable hypotenuse so here in this statement actually we perform dynamic initialization of a variable so here the variable hypotenuse is actually dynamically initialized with a valid expression math.sqrt of a square plus b square this is how we perform dynamic initialization of a variable when we declare the variable so here this statement is a declaration statement at the same time it is a dynamic initialization statement okay now we can print out the hypotenuse length so system dot out dot print ln hypotenuse equal to plus hypotenuse check the program run the program we got the value hypotenuse is equal to 5.0 this is how we perform dynamic initialization in a Java program. 